okay. This is going to be known as the Crows Part 2. There was something important about my crow story that I forgot to share that you might find interesting. This was from my journal on 9-11-2016. This past week at Adoration, as I prayed the rosary, I got a flash image in my mind of a crow entering the chapel and flying off with the body of Christ from the monstrance. Could this be a bad sign as in the Eucharist being snatched or no longer available because of people who want to rid the world of religion or faith or Jesus? Or could it be a sign that ravens will bring Jesus' body to us one day as they did for Elijah, as they did for Elijah while we are in our own wilderness. Then this was on uh, 9 27, 2016. At church on Sunday, we sat in the back for the first time. I noticed on a stained glass panel up high the image of a crow or raven sitting on top of an empty chalice or ciborium. It was just above an image of St. Benedict. I've never noticed that before. So when I say a flash image, it's just like I was deep in prayer and I just saw this picture like that, it, like that, and then it was gone. An image of a crow flying off with the body of Christ from the uh, big beautiful monstrance that held it in the chapel. And as this was in 2016, clearly that was long before the um, pandemic that we have had. And I don't know if it had anything to do with the churches being closed and us not having access to the body of Christ for a while. For some of us, it was months before we could receive again. And in some places in the world, they're still not able to receive the Eucharist. And I never in a million years thought that would happen, you know, in a communist country maybe, but not in the United States of America. So again, I'm not really sure if that flash image was just for me, if it was kind of a, a warning of what was to come, or perhaps what still is to come. You know, after all that we've been through the last year, we think sometimes this is such an irritation. Will it ever end? Could things get any more stressful or could things get worse? And the answer is yes, they can. <laughs> so we should take every opportunity that we can to adore the body of Christ, to receive the body of Christ, to be fully aware of the magnitude of the gift that Christ has given us, prepare ourselves properly to receive him, and thank him profusely afterwards because we never know when we may not be able to receive him again. Of course, if you are in one of those places where you cannot receive the Eucharist right now, I know it seems like a very sorry substitute but you can always say a prayer of spiritual communion 
Jesus knows if someone is keeping you from the Eucharist or if the Eucharist is, n yeah, not being made available to you. And I'm sure it pains him even more than it pains us. But we can say that prayer of spiritual communion, um, adoring Christ's body, adoring him, and asking him to come into our hearts and souls and to be spiritually, strongly present with us, within us, even if he is not able to be physically present within us at that moment. So I hope that is helpful to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.